Hi there, Libra, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of March the 20th, no, the 18th through to the 24th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Libra. First up, we have Major Arcana, the Emperor in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana, the Devil upright. Next, we have Major Arcana, the Lovers in the upright. Two of Pentacles in the upright. Lastly, Major Arcana, the Fool. You have four Major Arcana in the five-card spread here, Libra. Could be a pretty intense week for you. Your overall energy is the Mars-ruled energy, Emperor in the upright position. This could point to someone else who is playing a domineering role in your life this week. The Emperor um, represents, you know, the, the patriarch of the family. This could be the uh, father, the grandfather, older brother, um, just a, a mentor. This could represent that this person is um, really playing a big part in your life for whatever reason this week. This could be somebody you're reaching out to for advice. Remember the emperor is very powerful too. It could represent a powerful person that um, you are reaching out to. Go ahead and reach out to this person because when they're in the upright position, they're probably there ready and willing and able to help you. So um, if you need to get ahead in your career or your life or something like that, go ahead and reach out to the emperor. For others of you, this could be you um, embodying the energies of the emperor, which indicates you are trying to keep control over a situation that you feel is perhaps getting out of control. Maybe you're feeling the intensity of this week, Libra, and you really want to keep things on path and on track. Uh, coming into the week, you have the devil in the upright position pointing to there, there's a couple of things going on here. For some of you, perhaps this is fear, allowing fear to hold you back from accepting new opportunities. Um, perhaps some of you want to accept a new opportunity, but maybe there's a, an emperor type person in control and that makes you nervous and maybe... Um, maybe wanting to back away from it because this person seems a little bit controlling or domineering. For others of you, the devil can represent obsessive thinking. It does sort of uh, govern that OCD, you know, obsessively thinking about a situation to the point where we're bringing negativity towards ourselves because it's making us feel really anxious and not so good. Others of you, the devil can represent strong tempta temptations towards things that per perhaps are not the best things for us. It can be um, such as like a lack of willpower, maybe some of you had, you know, quit smoking or you quit gambling or whatever it is your vice was. And perhaps this week there's strong temptations around you to sort of fall back into old patterns and old habits. Just be careful and be wary of that. Um, next card up is the lovers in the upright position, the Gemini energy. It could be that you are torn between two lovers. It could be you're torn between two um, business partners or two companies or two ideas, ideal, uh, ideolo ideologies. This can also, because it is the lovers, it can be representing making choices and decisions about love itself. We can always choose to move forward in a love relationship. We can choose to back off. We can choose to bring it to the next level. Like there's a lot of choices and options around love. So it could be this week for you, Libra, you're in, an, in need of making a big decision. But if it's uh, playing out in your career, this could be, you know, torn between two maybe powerhouses, two powerful, powerful places. Moving on towards the weekend, we have the two pentacles here in the upright position. Nice energy to come after all this intensity. This represents um, harmony in the midst of change. Something is changing up. You are you could be moving maybe from one place to the next. This could indicate a smooth move. You could be moving uh, jobs from one job to the next. You could be taking on something like a side hustle in addition to what you're already doing or perhaps going to school and taking up studies, uh, a course or something like that. But whatever it is you're doing, you're juggling it uh, beautifully and effortlessly. Some of you could represent juggling your finances. Last card you have is a beautiful way to end this reading here, Libra. The fool in the upright position. This is all about ready and willing to take a chance to jump in 
where uh, wise men fear to tread. This is where the fool excels. He uses his confidence and he just jumps in. This is accepting new opportunities. It's a little bit risky because this is something perhaps we've never done before. Maybe working in a field we've never done before, taking a job in a place we've never lived before. It could be uh, trying a new hobby. It could be anything like that. But whatever it is, uh, it looks like you're ready to jump right in with full confidence here. Wow, what a crazy intense week here for you, Libra. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below if uh, you would like to add uh, whether or not this is resonating for you. Also, too, I would like to remind you of the Star Lotus podcast that airs every weekend here on the channel. Uh, come join us. Check on the, the channel uh anytime on the weekend from Friday to Saturday and see who the guest is and when the um, broadcast will be run. And you can also join in the chat when it's live or you can just sit back and watch it live as a member of the audience or you can watch it in the replay. Lots of options here for you. Libra. <laughs> Libra has trouble making decisions as it is now, giving you way too many options. Okay, I'll stop here. Hope you have a fabulous one. Uh, thanks so much for joining me, and I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again next week. Take care, much love, namaste. Bye-bye for now.